Welcome to the Oyster Edition of Mega Man 3. Um, this game starts off with no pre-story whatsoever, even less than Mega Man 2, about the same as Mega Man 1, even though in the manual there is plenty of backstory about how Wily has come to his senses and that he's making a peacekeeping robot called Gamma with Dr. Light and Mega Man has to run off and get these energy crystals that are guarded by Robot Masters, whatever. <laughs> um, this game has the advent of Proto Man, and that's cool. And it has really, really cool title music. I like it a lot. Anyway, we're not here for the title music. We're here to start the game. Um, bum ba dum. You guys voted for Snake Man, so uh, let's fight some Snake Man. Because rar, I'm a fucking dinosaur. We all convinced you assholes to make me fight Shadow Man with Search Snake. We can blast that bus to bits. I gotta talk to Wiley about boosting your intelligence. Ah, I feel obligated to do it, however, since Rar did the first Mega Man LP ever, which was Mega Man 3. Yeah. Uh, level condition, courtesy of Brahonia, is I have to jump, or every time I jump, I have to eat something motherfucking crunchy. Uh, I, I'm. Ow! Oh, there I go. Oh, I have to eat that one. I'll try some more. Hold on. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Alright. That was embarrassing. Oh my, oh my god! I didn't think this was gonna be hard. It was hard. I'm gonna be fucking eating the entire goddamn video. Funky soy sauce. Show you who made a call. 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 Show you who because I reached over for this can of Charlie Pringles, which I got. And then I end up getting hit. And that's not good. I don't like getting hit. Plus, you know, commentary suffer, but whatever. I guess it's good Pringles. I got the, um, cheddar cheese variety, because I've never had cheddar cheese Pringles before. And I will say that I've had better Pringles in my life, but, you know, it's not bad. I'm not going to complain about it. Woo! I do hope that, uh, shit, I got eaten that one. Um, um. Sliding doesn't count for eating Pringles, even though it uses the jump button. Because... I like sliding. I really do. Sliding is my thing. Actually, it's not. I hate sliding. That's one of the reasons why, uh... This Mega Man is one of my least favorites. <laughs> but, um... You know, I'm not gonna complain about it. Really. Ah. Also, Mega Man 3 is the only Mega Man, really, that I know of... ...to have mystery containers. They're kinda weird. Um... They hold something in them from energy life. Energy life, wow. From energy pellets to capsules to weapon capsules and pellets to uh, free lives, energy tanks. All sorts of stuff. Um, 
Yeah, this Hammer Joe is just going to start hitting me. There we go. Eat more! No. Boy. Also, I hope you guys enjoy um, how I'm getting conditions more this time. I like the idea of um, creating Robot Masters and weapons more than uh, death guessing. And I hope you guys do too. Um, the idea was originally given to me by Krakon. And all of you should give, like, mad props to Krakon, because he had a really good idea. Yeah, I enjoy seeing, um, your guys' ideas for new Robot Masters and weapons. And it's just a lot of fun. And I'm really getting sick of eating Pringles now. Oh my god! That was fucking loud. I left my cell phone alarm going off at IBM. Mmm. You know, Snake Man, I never figured out why exactly. Mm. Um. He has, like, gigantic towers in his level. It really doesn't make any sense. I mean, you'd think that the rest of the level, at least, has to do with snakes. But this part is just like, you know, rising platforms out of gigantic towers. What the fuck? What does that have to do with snakes? And since Snake Man was, uh, originally created to, um, explore through narrow passages and shit, you'd think his level would be full of narrow passages. Well, that's not. He's really nowhere where you need to slide. And, no, I kind of find that disappointing. I think the level design could have been better. But, you know, I don't really have a job of Capcom, so I guess I'm not one to talk. Alright, I'm done fucking eating. <coughs> Damn. Um, boss condition. Courtesy of Bob Smith, who made the five aces weapon. Um, is, I can only fire while Snake Man is firing. And, uh, I have to read Pride and Prejudice. Volume 3, Part 2. Chapter one. Fantastic. While I while I fight. So uh let's get started. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in want of a wife. Oops, he didn't fire. Oh shit. Uh however, little known feelings <sighs> Yeah, this is rough. Yeah. Anyway. However, little known to feelings or views, damn it, of such a man, fuck, maybe on his first entering a neighborhood. <sighs> Drop him, get him! This truth is so well fixed in the minds of the surrounding families that he is considered as the right pro full property of some one or other of their daughters. This doesn't even make any sense. My dear Mr. Bennett, said his lady to him one day, have you heard that Netherfield Park is here at last? Mr. Bennett replied that he had not. But it is, returned she, for Mrs. Long has just been here, and she just told me all about it. Mr. Bennett made no answer. Do not you want to know who has taken it? Rick cried his wife impatiently. You tell me, and I have no objection to hearing it. This was invitation enough. Why, my dear, you must know. Did I mess up who was talking? Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna keep going. Mrs. Long says that Netherfield is taken by a young man of large fortune from the north of England. That he came down on Monday in a chase and fought to see the place. That rhymes. Maybe, I don't know if I pronounced chase right. And was so much delighted with that that he agreed with Mr. Moss immediately. That he used to take possession before Michaelmas. Then some of his servants are to be in the house by the end of next week. 
What is his name? Billy! Is he married or single? Oh, single, my dear, to be sure! A single of large fortune! Four or five thousand a year! What a fine thing for our girls! How so? How can it be affect them? My god, he's like not even halfway dead yet. This is so tedious. My dear Mr. Bennett, replied his wife, how can you be so tiresome? You must know that I'm thinking of his marrying one of them. Is that his design in settling here? Design? Nonsense! How can you talk so? But it is very likely that he may fall in love with one of them. And fuck! Fuck I died! And therefore, you must visit him as soon as he comes! I see no occasion for that! You and the girls may go, or you may send them by themselves, which perhaps will still be better, for, as you are as handsome as any of them, Mr. Bingley might like you the best of the party. Is he telling his wife to cheat on him? I have no idea. My dear, you flatter me. I certainly have had my share of beauty, but do not pretend to be anything extraordinary now. When a woman has five grown-up daughters, she ought to give over thinking of her own beauty. Can this guy, like, get hit more than one pea shooter shot at a time? Seriously. Ah! In such cases, a young woman has not often much beauty to think of. But, my dear, you must indeed go and see Mr. Bingley when he comes into the neighborhood. It is more than I engage for, I assure you. It would be for one of them. So William and Lady Lucas are determined to go. Merely on that account for, in general, you know that they visit now newcomers. Indeed, you must go, for it will be impossible for us to visit him if you do not. This doesn't make any sense. You are scrupulous, surely. I dare say Mr. Bingley will be very glad to see you. And I will send a few lines of cocaine by you to assure him of my hearty consent to his marrying whichever he chooses of the girls. Though I must throw in a good word for my little Lizzie. Wow, aren't you being... Um, favorite thing your daughters, I guess. I desire you will do no such thing! Lizzie is not a bit better than the others! And I am sure she is not half as handsome as Jane, nor half so good humored as Lydia! But you are always giving her the preference! They have none of them much to recommend them, replied he. They are all silly and ignorant like other girls. But Lizzie has something more of quickness than her sisters. How much you want to bet Lizzie's the youngest? Mr. Bet! How can you abuse your own children in such a way? You take a delight in vexing me! You have no compassion on my poor nose! He's so close to dead, I'm so fucking happy! You mistake me, my dear. I have a high respect for your nerves. They are my old friends. I'm changing voice. Oh shit, he's dead. Sweet. All right, yeah. There you have it. Wow, I died like twice. That was kind of hard to look at both screens at once.
Anyway, um, there's Snake Man, and my throat hurts, and that's all well and good and fantastic. Hey, Mega Man, seal my fight! I suppose. And you got a new car, or come guzzling piece of shit faggot, or whatever, or some stink. Great. Um, it's basically the bubble lead of everything else uh, of this game. And uh, choose who you want next, and keep the recommendations, whatever, for robot masters and weapons rolling. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Later.